Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show how to install the Tenable Nessus application which is a vulnerability scanner. This is the free version called Essentials. So this video is just going to show how to install it. Um, the free version you get up to 16 IP addresses that you can scan and I think it's a very useful tool for people who want to create their own home lab and you know like a save and make uh, or search for vulnerabilities and stuff like that. So you need to go to this URL, It'll be in, everything will be in the description. So you just need to go to the first one, which is tenable.com products, Nessus, and then Nessus Essentials. And you, you'll see a box here to register for an activation code. Um, now, it does say business email here, and it wants some details. Now, I don't want them to spam me. So I just type any name in here, so John Smith. And then what I do is I go to temp-mail.org. So this website generates you a temporary email address for about 10 minutes. Um, and what you can do is you can just copy and paste that email address, paste it in the business email, and then all you need to do is click get started. And then hopefully we get the actual link to download the application. And as you can see, it's work. So it says, thank you for registering. We'll, they'll also send an activation code. Um, and then all you have to do is click this download button here. And then it should redirect you to a page where the default operating system that you are on, it should detect what operating system you're on. And then all you have to do is click the download button. That should download a DBE file uh, or DEB file for people on like a Linux based system. Obviously if you're on Windows, it'll have a .exe or whatever. Um, and then all you need to do is drag and drop it onto the desktop. Now I've already downloaded it. And as you can see here in the, the pink file in the bottom, I've just uh, moved it from the downloads folder to the desktop. And then I've got two terminal windows open. So what I'm going to do here is type the first part of the installation process. So what you need to do is you need to type dpkg hyphen i and then the name of the file. Now you, you don't have to type the whole file name out. If you just type the first bit and then click tab, it should auto finish like the rest of it. And then you can click enter. That will install Nessus as an application on a Linux based system. Now, I've already installed it, so it might say failed, but oh, there we go. It says install passed, so it's fine. Um, I've already installed it, you see, so it might look a little bit different to you, but you should see loads of um, different pass and then install passed message. Then you can scroll down and it gives you some more instructions of what to do next. So it says you can start the Nessus scanner by starting this command or running this command. So I'm just going to copy it into the other terminal window, and then I'll just start it. Or click enter and there we go and next it says then you can go to this URL so I'll just copy and paste that URL and open it in a browser and then we hopefully should see ten Nessus Tenable's application running there we go it says initializing so we should see that a little bit better for you now sorry um, but give it a second while it says initializing because then we still have to go through like the act activation process. But you can register offline. Um, so that is the option that we're actually going to choose. But we'll just give it a second while it's initializing. Initialization, you should see a page like this. It says welcome to Nessus and you just need to click continue. And there's a few options here. It's a start a trial of Nessus experts, register for essentials, uh, things like that. So we just want to click register for essentials. And it says already have an app activation code. Skip this step to enter it manually. So we already have one. So we click skip and then we just need that activation code from the email address that they sent us. So make sure you leave the tab open for that temp email. Um, and there we go, so we've got an activation code. If we right click and copy, we can just paste that into the setup. Click paste and click continue. Well, click that again. And there we go. So license information, click continue. And then we need to create an account. So this is just a login to the admin panel. I'll just call it admin for now and then admin as the password and click submit. Don't save, I'm not gonna save that login. And then there we go, so it's downloading a few plugins and we should get access to it in a few minutes. So there we go, it has done it. Um, it should come up saying establishing connection. That did take about five minutes, but I think that's just purely because my internet isn't great and I'm running a VPN. So um, 
Yours is probably going to be a much quicker than that, but give it a good five minutes. Let, um, as long as the bar's loading um, progress is being made, then it should be fine. So it's just going to download a few other things, and this is what it looks like. So you should have access to it with your account that you created. Obviously, I called mine admin. Um, I recommend that you just use like a strong password for this if it's like on a, you know, like on a server that multiple people use and things like that, because you'll be able to see vulnerabilities in systems. So. Um, this is what it looks like anyway. I'm not going to go through everything in this video. This was just an installation guide. So uh, please like, subscribe to keep up to date with, with all the latest videos. And the next one, I'm going to plan to do like um, a more in-depth video of this tool. What you can do with it, how to create scans, vulnerability scans and things like that. So I will see you all in the next video.